In this question, we have to analyze the following piece of music by answering the questions below. First question is, name the key of this piece. Two sharps could either mean D major or B minor. The opening uh, melody notes are A and D, which would make it a dominant and tonic note in D major. Also at the end, we have uh, clearly a tonic chord of D major. We're going to write D major. Write the time signature directly on the music. This looks like 2 4 time. The next question says name the triad at the letter A. And we need to find the root and the quality type. Letter A, we have a G note. This is a C sharp note. There's a C sharp in the key signature and an E. This is an inversion of a chord. If we move this G note up two octaves, we're going to have C sharp E and G. So C sharp is the root. From C sharp to E is a minor third, and from C sharp to G would be a diminished fifth, therefore this is a diminished triad. Next question, write the following functional chord symbol for the triad at the letter B on the line provided. At the letter B we have the following notes. A, this is a C sharp, there's a C sharp in the key signature, and E. This triad is in root position. A is the root, and it is a major triad because from A to C sharp is a major third, and from A to E is a perfect fifth. And in the key of D major, A is the fifth note. Therefore, this is a dominant triad in root position. And the Roman numeral 5 will be the functional chord symbol. Then we have to circle a neighbor tone in the measure 4 and label it NT. And measure 4 will be the fourth full measure, so this is just a pickup bar. This will be measure 1, 2, 3, and 4. Here we have chord tones on the first part, then uh, this is a non-chord note, that's a chord note, just like this one, that's a non-chord note, a chord note, and chord note. So the only non-chord notes are the D note and the F sharp note. Uh, since we only have to label one, the safer choice would be this note, as this note could be considered both a passing note between C sharp and E, or a neighbor tone between E and E. So I would just circle one note here and name it an T for neighbor tone. Next, name the triad at the letter C, the root and the quality. A letter C, we have F sharp, A and D. This looks like a tonic triad here in the key of D major. D is the root, A is the fifth, and F sharp is the third. From D to F sharp is a major third, and from D to A is a perfect fifth. It's a major triad. The root is D, and it's major. Next, we have to name the type of motion at letter D. Letter D is here. Is it similar, parallel, or contrary? This is definitely parallel. As all the notes here move in the same direction and the distance between them is a third each time. Name the interval at letter E. We have an A and we have a G. In the key of A major, the seventh note is G sharp. Here we have G natural, this is a minor seventh. Next, we have to circle an inversion of the interval at letter E and name the inversion. That means we have to look for this interval inverted where G is the lower note and A is the higher note. And, uh, um, okay, here is this interval. 
G is the lower note and A is the higher note. And this will be a major second. In the key of G major, A is the second note. So this is a major second. Name the cadence at the end of the excerpt. So here, as I said earlier, we're ending with a tonic chord. And just before that, we have A, C sharp, E, which is the dominant chord in the key of D major. This is an authentic cadence.